So I came across a 8 inch 4th axis that was for sale for the Tormach and uh, I went ahead and got it because it was a pretty good deal. It wasn't until I got it that uh, after inspecting it I realized it doesn't look like it's ever been used. So even though it's a 08 model, I think it's brand new. In order to run it obviously I needed the integration kit from Tormach so I had to order that as well. Here it comes with a small pack of wires and fasteners and of course the driver itself. So the first step is to find the empty slot in the top right corner of the cabinet and mount the driver there. I was a little intimidated by the idea of doing all this but it just followed the instructions. It only took about an hour. It was actually pretty easy. Instructions are laid out pretty well. So with that mounted, I had to go to the side of the cabinet underneath the main disconnect and open up one of these uh, accessory ports, I guess and install the plug that came in the kit. If you've seen the shop tour, you see that uh, this machine is wedged into a corner pretty good, so this was a bit of a challenge for me. Of course, I initially forgot to put this plug on, so I had to go back and do that. But now that the wires are pulled through, mounted into the cabinet, I can take all of the blue wires and run those up to the driver. The green one doesn't go up there, it actually goes to the ground terminal down on the bottom. So get that hooked up and check that off the list. They also give you in the kit this one cable with a connector on each end, which you're supposed to cut in half. And then you gotta strip the two ends that were cut. These are gonna be the cables that go from the uh, fuse block to the driver. They give you a little strip of numbers too so you could label these wires makes it easier to keep track of when you're hooking everything up just make sure you put the same number on each end So once the wires are cut and labeled, you just mount them right to the, push them onto the terminals on the fuse block. And then of course run them through the, the wire tray to keep everything all neat, neat and tidy. And then all the loose wires, the two coming from the fuse block and the rest of the blue ones coming from the plug, get mounted to the driver. And all the all the locations and wire numbers are laid out in the instructions. It wasn't until here that I realized that I forgot to pull the data cable out of the uh, out of the tray here. So I had to hunt that down and pull it back out. And the last thing to do is to set the pins on the driver. 
And again, this is in the instructions. I don't want to give anybody any wrong advice, so just refer to your instructions. Last thing to do is to check it out. And before I did any of this testing, I did oil the uh, rotary table. They very specific in the instructions that that needs to be done uh, before you use it. So anyway, it wasn't that hard of a project. I was a little intimidated by it, but for no good reason. So hopefully we'll see some uh, fourth access projects coming up soon. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.